The NPI begins. This inspection is safety checks conducted by qualified jump masters to cross-check the fully kitted jumper before boarding the aircraft. Having gone through the tedious training preparing the cadets with the skills to perform airborne jump, the cadets are optimistic that they have been well equipped to face the next challenge. The airborne training has helped in exposing me to contemporary special forces operations in modern day warfare. The skills acquired during the training cannot be overemphasized. It is tailored towards special forces reaction to complex emergency. After the inspection, the overall jump master wait to be signaled by the pilot. This delay is often caused by air traffic control and weather situations. In order not to detail their morale, the cadets get entertained as they wait while on the ground and on board aircraft by the jump masters to help keep them focused on the task Finally, cadets receive signal to board the aircraft. As cadets make way to board the aircraft, we caught up with the deputy commandant, the Nigeria Defense Academy. The current operational environment demands physically and mentally fit uh, officers. And that is why we had to redesign, go back to the drawing board, we had to redesign the whole of the training curriculum to see that it reflects the current happenings in the operational environment. Please give us the push we needed to raise our physical fitness level to the standard required to end the air wing. Cadets will be flown in the C-130 Hercules to the drop zone. The aircraft flies from the Nigerian Air Force Base Kaduna to the Nigerian Army School of Infantry drop zone Jaji. Cadets are allotted 20 minutes before the drop zone. While they jump, the jump masters assess the wind condition when the doors are opened. The cadets hook their static line to the anchor line cable. This connection will open the chute upon jumping. Moment of truth sets in. The jump masters announces it's one minute to the drop zone. Cadets make their practical jump of the three Hollywood jumps before the night jump. After a successful jump, the joy of an accomplishment is so vivid on their faces as they make the jump and land it on the drop zone. Were you, was it what you expected? It was more than... After training, yes. everything comes like this. Uh -huh. so that's, that's, that's the end. Fantastic. But accidents can occur. Keeping the feet and knees together is an essential part of the jumping phase. In order to land successfully without twisting the legs, which can result in a major fatality, not more than two cadets sustained major injuries during the jump and were evacuated for medical attention, while five others sustained mild injuries on their feet.
On graduation day, cadets make a final jump display for the special guest of honor, the Commander Infantry Corps of the Nigerian Army, as friends and families gather to witness the progress made during the four weeks training. Now that we are not safe due to the train we have at this point. At the end now, I tell you that every system of Nigerian Defense Academy will be able to jump and safety. I don't think it's a perfect 